everyone. Welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you guys are all at home listening along. My name is Evelyn and it's great to have you here on AADL TV. If you guys are playing the 2020 Summer Game, the code for today is Grow Seeds Grow and you can also see that right down below. And we hope that you um, are having a lot of fun and doing all of that because the game is really great. And most of all though, I hope you brought your hands because you have to have them in order for us to start story time, because we have to get our rhythm going. All right, ready? Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. There's a story in my house. It's been about a week. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's been. I don't know. Where did it go? I want to hear it again. I look to my left. I look to my right. I look all around. It's still out of sight. I look on the ground and over my head. <gasps> Shh, there's something in my bed. Let's see what it is today. <gasps> it's carrots, but not just any carrots. This is probably what you think a carrot would look like. This carrot came from the store. It looks very yummy and orange and snappy. But then guess what else I have? I have some super silly carrots. And these are super silly carrots because I grew these carrots myself and I'm not very good at growing carrots as you can see, but it was still a lot of fun. And I think today we'll do stories all about gardens and gardening. So this carrot that I grew, it grew down like a carrot should, but then at some point it decided to grow back up again, whoop, and all the way around. Look at that silly thing. It even has a little tail carrot tucked, boop, right through the middle. And this carrot has three different little things coming off the end of it. And this one, look at that. It grew down, boop, but then it also grew around and around and around. I don't know why my carrots grew like that. I grew carrots last year too, and they didn't grow like this, but you know what they grew like? They were only this big. So this is a lot better than last year, and maybe someday I'll grow a carrot that looks like this. But it can be really fun to do stuff, even if you're not very good at it. Things like gardening and, um, or playing sports or doing art. Even if you don't think you're very good, it can be really fun to do it anyway. So I always like to do things like that, even if I'm not very good at it. And I bet those carrots will still be tasty. So, all right. A lot of you might also like to grow flowers, which I like to do. So this first one is all about flowers. Well, what grows in the summer when it's hot? <gasps> Look what I found in my purple pot. Ooh. What grows in the summer when it's hot? Plant a seed and what have you got? <gasps> Ooh. Grows in the summer when it's hot. Let's look inside my purple pot. <gasps> Ooh. Plant a seed and see what you've got. <gasps> look at that. Ooh. Well, red flower, red flower, you look so nice. Purple flower, purple flower, you bring me delight. Yellow flower, yellow flower, standing in the sun. Orange flower, orange flower, you are so much fun. Pink flower, pink flower, how sweet you are. White flower, white flower, you look like a star. Blue flower, blue flower, you're a special thing. Oh, the flowers, they just make me want to sing. All these flowers, now what should I do? I know. I'll make a bouquet 
just for you. Let's put all the flowers in it. Blue, white, pink, orange, yellow, purple, and what color is this? That's right, red. And look at our beautiful bouquet. Yay. Good job, everybody. Well, this next story is a book all about a beautiful bouquet, and this is called Flower Garden by Eve Bunting. A garden in a shopping cart. Doesn't it look great? Garden on the checkout stand. I can hardly wait. Garden in a cardboard box, walking to the bus. Garden sitting on our laps, people smile at us. That would be a fun thing to see on the bus. Garden going up the stairs, stopping at each floor. Meow, I wonder what that kitty cat thinks of the garden. This garden's giving, getting heavier. Whew, at last, our own front door. Hurry, hurry, get the trowel, spread the papers thick. Grab the bag of potting soil, get the planting mix. Put purple pansies at each end. In there. Daisies white as snow. Daffodils, geraniums, and tulips in a row. Garden in the window box high above the street. Look, there's Kitty. Where butterflies can stop and rest and ladybugs can meet. Walkers walking down below will lift their heads and see purple, yellow, red, and white, a color jamboree. Oh, isn't that nice? Candles on a birthday cake, chocolate ice cream too. Happy, happy birthday, mom, a garden box for you. What a lovely present. Do you think Kitty wants some birthday cake? I bet so. The end. All right, let's do a little bit of a stretch. Now I'm just sitting down, but you guys can get up to do this one because there's a part where we're going to jump and a part where we go like this and it starts like this. When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate's ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate's ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate's ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I shut the door. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate's ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I jumped and jived on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate's ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea.
Good job, everybody. Really good listening. You know what? If you were standing up, you can go ahead and sit back down now. And we will do our next story, which comes from a great book. I bet a lot of you know who's in this book. Frog and Toad Together by Arnold Lobel. These have so many wonderful stories of friendship. And this is one of my favorite ones. But first, we have to take away the flower pot with our pretty bouquet. So let's name the colors again while we take it down, huh? Red, purple, pink, yellow, orange, white, blue, and of course, green stems, and a purple pot. Well, once upon a time, there were two great friends, Frog and Toad. And one day, Toad was walking along when he passed by Frog, who was gardening. Wow, those are some really nice flowers, said Toad. Oh, thanks, said Frog. It's very hard work to grow flowers, but it's very rewarding. Oh, I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Well, it's very, you could do it. Hang on one second. All you need are some flower seeds. Let me go get some. Oh, where are the flower seeds? said Frog. He went and tried to find them. Uh, there they are. He came over and he gave the seeds to Toad. Now, you are all set with your seeds, but remember, they'll grow soon. But it is hard work. Okay, said Toad, and off he went. Well, Toad carefully planted those flower seeds. He used a little trowel to dig in the dirt and make some good space. He thought about putting on a gardening glove to make it easier, but the problem is, is that he didn't really have hands so the gardening gloves wouldn't go on so well. Then he tried it on his foot just to see if that would work well. Whoops. No, let's try again. He tried it on his, whoops. He tried it, he thought, I'll just hold it like this. Then he thought, this isn't really helping anything. I just have a glove in my mouth. Duh. Well, ah, then he looked down at the seeds, but they were not growing yet. So Toad said, now seeds start growing. Then they still did not grow. Hmm said Toad. They should have started growing by now. Now, do you think that seeds start growing right away? No, they need a little bit of time, don't they? And they also need rain. And what's the other thing they need? Sun. Yeah. But Toad thought that they would just grow right away. So he said, now seeds grow. Still nothing. Finally, Toad said, now seeds grow. Frog came bouncing up. Toad, what is all this yelling? <coughs> Sorry, but my seeds will not grow. You are shouting too much. Those poor seeds are afraid to grow. <gasps> my seeds are afraid to grow? Oh no, Toad felt terrible. I, I didn't mean to scare them. Oh, it's okay. Just, just be patient. Okay, I'll be patient, said Toad. And off went Frog. Well, Toad felt terrible that he had scared those seeds. Oh, well, I, hmm. He looked out his window that night. My seeds have still not tried to grow. Perhaps they would like to hear a song. So he went out into the garden and he sang, Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, tra-la-la. But still, the seeds did not grow. Oh, well, 
The next day, he thought, perhaps the seeds are afraid of the dark. And so he took out a little flashlight and turned it on and shined it in all the seed's eyes. Maybe that will work, he said, but still nothing. Well, the next day he thought, maybe the seeds would like to see something funny. So he decided to do some tricks for them. He said, look, look at what I can do. And he bounced like this, boing, 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 boing. And he bounced like this, boing, 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 boing. And he tried to do a somersault, wow! But he landed up, hurt, boom. Oh, oh, ah. Well, Frog came bouncing along. Toad, Toad, are you okay? Oh, yes, I just, oh, I got a little bit stuck because I was trying to do some tricks to keep my seeds happy. Oh, ah, uh, Frog, what else, I mean, Toad, what else have you tried? Well, I sang to them, la la la! I shined a light at them, I did some tricks for them. They are afraid to grow, and I am trying to make them feel better. Oh, Toad, you just have to be patient. Let the sun shine, let the rain fall on them. Soon they'll start to grow. Okay, if you say so. Toad was not so sure about that, though. It started to rain, and he thought the seeds might be scared. So he went out carrying an umbrella, and he showed them his beautiful umbrella, but then pretty soon he'd been outside, he'd been awake. Oh, he started to get tired. Oh, he let the umbrella fall to the side and he fell asleep. Well, he slept and slept and when he woke up, ah, what did he see but a beautiful garden of flowers. He was so excited. He grabbed some of the flowers and he went over to Frog's house. Frog! Frog! Toad, what's going on? Well, look! I grew some flowers. But you know what? You were right. Gardening is hard work. The end. Good listening. All right. I love this little tiny umbrella. It looks like it might be a little small for me, I think. Can you guys, let's see, let's get our thumbs out. And then, can you guys wiggle them like this? How about all your fingers? Can you open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, 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 open, shut them open shut them give a little clap 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 creep them creep them slowly creep them right up to your chin 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 open up your little mouth ah, but do not let them in shake them shake them shake 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 them shake them just like this 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 Roll them, roll them, roll, roll, roll them, blow a little kiss. Mwah! Oh, I almost rolled my hands right on out of here. They were rolling so fast. All right. Our last story is this one. This is called Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew off to where the other birds needed to be measured. The inchworm measured the neck of a flamingo. 
he measured the toucan's beak, the legs of the heron, the tail of the pheasant, and the whole hummingbird. One morning, the nightingale met, met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured, there he is, inch by inch until he inched out of sight. The end. Maybe you can see an inchworm in your garden if you look around carefully. There are some in Michigan. All right, you guys have been great listeners. Now is the time where if you want to stand up when you hear the magic words, knees up, you can pop on up. There was a robot from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Well, Frog and Toad grew some seeds, and Frog hoped not to grow any weeds. The only other thing that they could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Froggy would just like to say, thanks for listening to stories today. The only other thing that he can do is knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster! Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Woo! Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. Thank you for listening to Storytime. You can subscribe to ADL TV to keep track of everything fun we have going on. Have a great one. Bye-bye.